Hello everybody, hope everyone's having a fantastic day and in today's video we're going to be checking out another FPJ mining card. It's by Xilinx and it's the Xilinx C1100. It's capable of mining Ethereum in the minute but hopefully in the future it'll be able to mine other coins. We're going to be checking out its performance. I'm also going to be showing you a wee price comparison and performance comparison between the C1100 and NVIDIA's A2000 graphics card. I'm also going to be telling you where you can buy this card and I'm going to be pointing you also to the FPJ Discord server, link below if you want to join. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video, come on. This is a person called Mining Tips on YouTube here. See here, mining tips. Go and sub if you want to go and see more content like this. I think there's some other videos that a person does. You can see they've been mining with the Xilinx C1100. As you can see by the title of the video, up to 80 mega hash per second at 110 watts. And you can see from the clip here, the person is able to mine 70 mega hash per second at 110 watts at the wall, which is really great. The person is using Team Red Miner, which is on GitHub, and also they're using custom cooling solution because it's a passive card. So there is no active cooling on it, but it does need it to get these mega hash values. Later on in the vid, they discuss that you can actually overclock this card some more and get 80 mega hash per second at 110 watts from the wall, which is uh, incredible efficiency. The only thing I would say is like, I don't know how stable the card is when you overclock it up to those values. So I would say like, if you want to know about that, go and ask this person on, on the YouTube video. You can see from the vid that they've been mining at fairly low temperatures for 15 minutes at these rates. So it's really, really good efficiency. And I, to be honest, I would love to have that sort of efficiency on the uh, cards. And you can see here, this is actually the, the setup with the shroud and the B97 fan attached to the C1100 card. And also you can see from this as well that they're using, it looks to me like just a standard riser, like a standard GPU riser. And that gives you an idea about how the, the kind of setup goes together with the fan, the shroud and the card. And if you go and look up this person's vid, you can actually see the four cards all lined up together, like kind of operating. So go and check out, it's really, really interesting. So what I'm going to go into now is actually do a wee price comparison with this card against the A2000, which we know is incredible efficiency. So let's go into that now. We have price per card, mega hash per watt, dollar per mega hash. And basically the numbers speak for themselves. You can see you can get the C11 at $1,293. For me in the UK, you can get the A2000 at $667. A2000, if you're a wee bit familiar with that, you can see that is 0 0.61. And then when you calculate 74 or 75 mega hash divided by 110 watts, that gets you 0 0.67. Going on to the dollar per mega hash, the C11 is a wee bit more expensive, basically a dollar more expensive per mega hash. The, the A2000 is obviously cheaper per dollar at this price and obviously if you can get the A2000 at MSRP, well, you know, the A2000 is fantastic. But this is more like, I would say a more realistic comparison. If you can overclock the C1100, well, it was basically achieving 80 mega hash at 110 watts and that's 110 watts to the wall. And if you calculate that, that'll be 0 0.72 mega hash per wall. I like that in the future, there might be other coins that you can mine on this card once more bit streams as well come out for it, which is very important obviously because of Ethereum 2.0, which is coming up. If you wanna know where to buy these cards, well, you can buy them direct from Xilinx, which is really good news. You can see the price there, it's $1,293 per card, and you can see it's got a lead time of between five to six weeks. Am I looking to buy some of these cards? I think in the future, possibly, I'm gonna be considering it, but currently I'm happy with the hash rate that I have. So I'm not looking to buy these. If you wanna buy the 3D shroud for this card, I'm gonna put some more information in the description box section. Going forward, there's gonna be a video coming out this week where I'm gonna be talking about another mineable coin which has come out recently, which you can mine on GPUs. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to catch that video. Please, if you found this content useful, please smash that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. And also consider sharing the vid. I just want to say everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye just now.